Hi, and welcome to Module 5, Planning Finances. My name is Michael, and uh, I'm one of the founders of CEWAS, the Center for Entrepreneurship in Water and Sanitation. I've been training and coaching hundreds of entrepreneurs like you in the past 10 years. So, in the last module, you got an overview of the most important waste to energy, waste to nutrients, and waste to water technologies. Furthermore, you also got insights into how to plan logistics and manage your business risks. And last but not least, you should also now have a rough idea on how much your machines and equipment will cost and how many staff you need to operate and maintain your system. Now, what you don't yet know is how much you will actually earn by selling your RRR products. But hey, that's exactly the most important part, because this will decide on whether you will end up being rich or poor. So that's why we will do some financial planning in this module. I have seen hundreds of fantastic business ideas in this field, but unfortunately not that many entrepreneurs had their finances under control. That's why financial planning is extremely important. It will help you to evaluate your financial feasibility and it will help you to make better decisions regarding your selling price or the scale or capacity of your technology. At the end of the day, what we want to find out is, you know, whether we will actually make any money at all with your business, whether you will barely scrape by or whether you can really um, build up uh, a well-running and thriving business in the field of RRR. But financial planning is not only for you internally. It's also important for others. For example, your investors or banks. They want to know your numbers and you need to convince them that your numbers are promising but realistic at the same time. Only then they will be ready to invest their money. In this module, I will guide you through the main steps for forecasting your profits or maybe losses over the next five years. You will learn how to come up with a profit and loss statement and you will be able to analyze if your selling price is high enough, if you are operating cost effectively and if you are operating at the right scale. Now, let's be honest, no RRR business will make money from day one. It will take time, sometimes years. And in some countries, resources are simply too cheap and it will be impossible to be profitable um, by selling RRR products alone. In these countries, you will need additional revenue streams to make it. This might be funds from donors, or subsidies from government, or something completely different. However, ideally you can show that those additional resources can be decreased over time and that you will be profitable um, in the long run. In addition to the whole profitability part, you will also learn how to forecast your cash flow. The cash flow is the amount of cash coming in and out of your bank account. Now, the issue is if you have no money on your bank account anymore, you're obviously bankrupt. And this can happen at any time, even if you are running very profitably. So it's extremely important to watch your account and plan your cash flow ahead so you don't end up with bad surprises at the end of the month. So, let's get started with crunching some numbers and click below um, to go ahead with watching the video of week one.